I'm logged into Insight Live right now and I want to demonstrate how we can take a look at the chemistry of a glazed recipe to tell if it's balanced. And so I've just clicked on a recipe here. Now I'm not seeing the chemistry so I'm going to click on preferences and choose show chemistry, save, go back home. Now we'll click on that again and now it's showing the chemistry. I'll click open. Now I want to compare this with a cone 6 limit formula and to find that limit formula I'll click advanced search and go to batch number negative 3 click search and in group 2 here I'll pick this one and then I'll choose open. Now in the right here we're looking at a typical cone 6 limit formula and here we have the amount and the range. So for example for calcium oxide the average would be 0.4 or it could be within a range of 0.2 to 0.6. And over here we have the chemistry of this glaze. And the thing I want to bring your attention to is this, the silica. 2.27. According to this, 2.5 is the minimum. So really, if we could add some extra silica to this glaze, that would be great. Now could we? I'm going to click on this picture. And this is the glaze on the left. Notice how well melted it is. Probably it's going to accept silica. First I'll just set this back to normal search and then I'm going to edit this first recipe and then I'll add a line and we'll type in silica and I'm going to be bold and put in 20 and then I'll click save and done. Now let's compare this chemistry again. 3.3 .3 of silica, all the others would be unchanged and the average is 3.2 so I was able to put 20 parts of silica into this recipe that only totaled 80 and I've just brought the silica up to the average amount and this is a glossy glaze so I could put even more. Now let's take a look at what that looks like when it's fired it's right here on the right. It's about the same amount of gloss it's actually more stable on the piece and the cobalt is darker but these two have the same amount of cobalt. So this is actually a much better glaze. It's also going to be more stable. It's going to be less prone to leaching. It's going to craze less. It's going to be harder. It's just going to be better all around because silica is a major glass former in the glaze. So the lesson here is you should be asking can your glazes accept more silica? Now of course if you are using a matte glaze that probably will not be true because silica needs to be low in matte glazes but if it's a glossy glaze then you can put it into Insight Live, have a look at the formula, compare it with the limits and see if it's a candidate for adding more silica and be bold, put in plenty and see what happens. Anything that you can put in there and still have it melt the same amount is going to improve it.